Yo, if you came to the vlog today expecting to see my normal life and like time lapses and all like cool stuff, just check out the vlog tomorrow because we're not gonna be doing that today. This is geared towards the starving artist who either does not have clients, has minimal clients, or it's just looking to tighten up their marketing skills online and stuff like that. So let's get into it. I'm gonna separate this into three different categories, three different things that you all need to do. And these are the keys to get them clients and get that money. So let's do it. First category is free. Free stuff. Free stuff, free content, free work, man. And I'm so against this, but you need free stuff, man. You gotta do cool things. You have to have something for other people to look at. So you find you a cool little artist that you like if you're doing music videos or photography, whatever you, you know what I'm saying? You find somebody that you like, you do free stuff for them, then you'll have cool things to show potential clients. And you know what I'm saying? That's how you branch out. You gotta do free stuff, man. You gotta have something to show someone before you start charging them. Simple as that. Second tip is social media, man. And this is the most important tip of all of them. So. You make sure y'all got y'all notepads out and y'all taking these <laughs> keys into y'all head right now. Social media is gonna separate into like subcategories and like sub tips and stuff like that. So first we're gonna talk about profile. Profile is very important. Make sure you have a separate profile for your personal life and your work life. Nobody wants to go to your Instagram page and see memes about a bunch of ratchet stuff or you know what I'm saying? If yo, just make sure your work is the main focus of your page. Have two different pages or if the page is a bond of both, make sure you find a happy medium, man. Cause nobody wants to see stupid memes and stuff like that on their page. And also make sure that your page is not private. Not private. That's the most annoying That's thing in the world. That's the most annoying thing in the world, yeah. Do not have a private profile. Nobody wants to go through the trouble of pushing requesting you to to allow them to follow you by that time they've already forgotten about you do not have a private profile man that's the, that's that? that's so stupid yeah people think that it's like oh this page is private so it must be like some exclusive stuff on there but no. honestly most people are like ah no I don't, i'd rather just find no someone else. do not have a private profile yeah that's a major 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 key do not have a private profile all right so the second sub tip for social media is hashtags Hashtags is very important. I know people use them for like the wrong reasons or just reasons other than what I'm about to tell you what you should use it for. Hashtags are very freaking important, man. You can you can use a hashtag to track someone down, to find artists in your area or your area that you're going to. You can use hashtags to find a location for a photo shoot, a video shoot, all of that. So for instance, if I was if I wasn't from Washington DC and I was looking for DC artists to shoot music videos for, you could just simply go on Instagram or Twitter and type in DC artist, DC rapper, DMV rapper, blah blah blah. You can use these hashtags to physically target people in a certain area and reach out to them and shoot videos for them or take pictures for them or sell them graphics or blah blah blah, whatever the fact. Whatever it is that you're doing, you can use hashtags to specifically target those people. That's why hashtags are very important. I know a lot of people don't use them for that, but that that's just, yo, use hashtags for that, man. To target people, to target jobs, to target businesses, whatever that it is that you're doing, you find people in the area that you're in and you sell them stuff. Hashtags are very important. Third tip about social media, which is very important, is be active. Don't be me on social media. <laughs> I, be I, me. No, I no. very rarely post, but I mean, I'm kind of already established as a director. But if you're up and coming and you want, you want it, man, you want to go hard for it, make sure you're active, man. You need to post every single day. You need to post something. Something that looks good as well. People like good content. Nobody wants to look at stupid, ugly things. So, <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, just being honest, like, yo, you need to post, man. And you need to be active online. You need to go out and you need to comment on rapper stuff. Say, hey, this is a dope track. Or if you're trying to build a fan base for yourself, you find other directors, you say, yo, bro, this video is dope as fuck. And don't lie to them. Like, of course, make sure you find stuff that you actually like. Rappers and singers and models if you're doing photography. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're doing graphics, you can find a rapper that, you, that his song you actually like and you can make him a free cover. Or you can be like, hey, bro, you need graphics, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Just be active, man. Like, don't be on social media just looking at things. Be active, like, comment post basically i could have just said that like comment post damn that was so much sense all right now we're gonna dive into the third tip which is boom fair pricing what i mean by fair pricing is you need to find a price that's good for you and you need to find a price that's good for the client and coming up 
coming up being a graphic designer, a photographer, a videographer, a director, whatever it is that you are, you're gonna get the short end of the stick most of the time. Just being honest, bro. You're not gonna get what you want. I mean, it just it just is what it is. You gotta accept it. If, like early off, like you know what I mean. You gotta you gotta take on those those jobs that don't pay you much to get your content up. And you know what I'm saying. Kill those jobs too. Don't just do them. But don't just BS them because you're not getting paid that much. Do cool stuff. When people see cool stuff, they're willing to pay you more, man. So I mean, just be prepared to take the short end of the stick when you're coming up. You find that medium ground where you feel like you're getting the money that you deserve. Well, I mean, you're, you're never gonna get what you deserve. Just to keep, just to keep the stack with you. You're never gonna get what you deserve. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just keep that in mind when you're getting on these early projects, man. You're not gonna get paid what you deserve to get paid, and that just is what it is. Those are just the tips that I've taken in, and this is what worked for me, and it's worked for everyone around me. Creative Ryan, uh, my homie Daniel Vorlay. My girlfriend Millie, she was doing photography. All these things work, man. So if you if you use these things effectively, guaranteed you'll get more clientele. Guaranteed your work will get better. Guaranteed you'll branch out and get more followers. All that, man. Just just use those tips effectively. Oh, I got a good tip. This is important. Millie got a tip for y'all, I guess. So she about to drop this tip on y'all head. So make sure y'all. You know, I, mean. I don't know if y'all can read it on here. I have no space. But my tip is don't get discouraged about um, making progress. It's gonna be slow at first. Very slow. And um, but it will pick up. The more people, it will. the more people you reach out to, the more people will see your work. And then exactly. the more people will see your work, is the more money you get paid. So just keep on going. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's gonna work out. Yo, 95% of the people that you hit up for stuff are gonna BS with your time. Just be prepared for that. All the yep. time, people are gonna BS with your time. I'm telling you, they're gonna tell you they wanna do this and they wanna do this they're at this point in time and they got this amount of money and you gonna hit them up when it's time to get it done and they just not gonna respond to you. Like, once you get deep into it, you learn to treat everybody who's inquiring with you as if they're BSing. Never expect anything. So that so when it actually happens, it's actually fun and it's surprising to you, you know what I mean? True. You know what I mean? So just expect everybody to be BSing. That's just, that's, that's another tip that I have. And I also want to suggest this book to y'all. Um, it's called Influence. Uh, this, it's a book called Influence, and it, this is like a really good book. Make sure y'all check it out. It um, it deals with people's psychological uh, answers to things. So basically, it helps you manipulate clients into buying things. And I know that sounds super bad, but everybody uses it. Every but like all these big companies that sell you things, they use this to sell you stuff. So it basically taps into people's psychological responses to things and it helps you create a better sales pitch for things. So make sure y'all check it out. I'll leave a link for it in the description for y'all to buy the ebook or the physical book for it. But make sure y'all read Influence, it's very important. But I think that's gonna wrap up my tips for helping you all branch out and create a better fan base or clientele, whatever you're looking to do for yourself. So if you liked this video, you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like, comment, also subscribe. And uh, I'm gonna check you out on my next vlog tomorrow. Peace. Deuces. See y'all. Take them tips, man. Peace.